What's up, everybody? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Mono Warfare guns aren't back. Are they usable? Sure. Are they viable? Yeah, they are. But are they back? No, they're not back. They haven't been touched, so there's nothing to make them have a comeback because they weren't buffed and all the other guns weren't nerfed to bring them down to the level that people are saying the Growl and the Kilo are back. The, the, those are the two I see, really. People, for whatever reason, didn't go back to the Amax, but they went back to the Ground the Kilo. I don't get it because the Amax is still better than both. But they're really not better. And they Kilo hasn't been touched since, like, December 2020, January 2021, at the end of the R90 Kilo meta. Um, when they nerfed the R90, they nerfed the Kilo and made it drop off super hard after 85 meters. And it hasn't been touched since. So that's not meta. And the last... Update on the Growl was like July 2021, and they actually buffed the minimum damage a little bit, and that still didn't bring it soaring back into the meta then. There's still Cold War guns that are better, and there's still uh, Modern Warfare guns that rank higher in TTK than the Growl and the Kilo, which everybody's favorite content creators have been saying is back. And so they're not back. Are they viable? Sure. Especially when, and here's why everyone thinks they're back. Everyone got used to playing Vanguard Royale mode, all these streamers. So they got used to the really slow TTK with the Vanguard weapons. And then all of a sudden the growl feels super powerful because you're used to a slow TTK. I'll show you statistically what I'm talking about. We'll run God spreadsheet. And then I'll come back and I'll give you the ground kilo loadout if you just want to try them out for yourself. Okay. And so we're on God spreadsheet now. And if you look the beloved kilo is all the way at the bottom only better than the bar and the not fully tested bren um well needs to be retested because it's damage drop off uh and he doesn't have the damage drop off anymore but and then here's the growl the growl is below a lot of guns the kilo is only better than the uh, bar and about as good as the itra burst so really the kilo is not back it's just easy to hit shots with and it doesn't feel any slower than a lot of the vanguard guns do because that's where it's with is with all the vanguard guns and then you have the growl which still has a bunch of guns that are better long range ctk wise including the amax which is way up here the c58 which people have been using even i think after the nerf but you'll still see people use it xm4 m4a1 rpd then the SCAR, which just has a mag limitation, so people don't use it, is above it. The AUG, Milano, Odin. I mean, I can go on and on. There's the RAM, the Bren, the um, Cold War AK, the Pharah, the EM2, the Stoner. All guns people use. You keep going up all the way up to the Finn Adverse. And you still have the MG82, which is still really good. The Bruin and the Rowl are better. So especially the Kilo and Growl aren't back, but Modern Warfare guns aren't back. They are exactly where they have been ever since we got the Cold War guns, and that's not as good as most of the Cold War guns. So that being said, we can jump over. We'll quick show the Kilo and Growl loadouts. I'm not going to break them down because if you don't know them by now, you probably really don't really care. And I just want to throw these up on the screen for anybody who does still care. Okay, and I just made a quick Growl Kilo class to show them both off. If you look at the Growl, you know this build uh monolithic suppressor archangel barrel gives you really really clean iron sights to the point where most people don't use an optic they switch for attack laser instead then the usual commando foregrip and 60 round mag if you don't like the iron sights that much go ahead and drop the attack laser off of it go for the good old vok three times optic and if you have it if you don't you probably don't care but if you have it make sure you throw that t-pose on and that's the growl if you want to do an optic. Kilo, monolithic suppressor, single guard arms, prowler barrel, VOK, with uh with the T-pose, of course. And then whoops, commando foregrip and 60 round mag. You can run the 50 with the kilos poor TTK. You probably need the extra 10 bullets, but it does help your ADS slightly. And don't ever run the hundred round drums. We've seen people do it, it's usually the bots. I wouldn't do it. So, you know, if you want to run these guns, try them out for yourself, feel free. I wouldn't really recommend them, but, you know, feel free to try them out if you really want to. Um, the Growl, maybe. The Kilo, not so much. They're probably a little better on Rebirth because the Growl, uh, the Kilo falls off so hard at range. But try them out for yourself if you want. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more. Uh, comment down below what you think or have you gone back to mono warfare guns you know did you go back to the growl the kilo or did you go back to the amax the bruin 
Uh, let me know down below. As usual, I will have JGod's spreadsheet linked down below as well as my social media. So please feel free to check those out. But thank you again for watching. I will see you on Caldera and Rebirth Island. Get frying. Have a good day. Bye.